So what is the main attraction with Philippine women? Um, th see, this is quite funny, but this is something that doesn't even get discussed very often. There's a lot of guys I know that have had relationships break down, but there's been other stuff involved in the relationships. For example, they've both been working like 12, 14 hours a day, so they've drifted apart. In a traditional relationship, you've got to have that gel of actually having a relationship otherwise it simply fails and unless you're actually changing your lifestyle it's very difficult to maintain a good relationship um, so what I do is I recommend if you're serious about a relationship you need to adapt to it Philippine women want a relationship they don't want a ghost in the house that is gone before they get up in the morning and comes back late at night, they want somebody that's in a relationship with them. Um, there is a lot of connection. You know, um, there is a interest in who you are, what you're doing, um, your general health, the, the appreciation of even the simple things. It's all there, you know, the appreciation that you go out and earn the money that pays the bills and looks after everybody, that's appreciated. And it's not, I wouldn't say expected, because expected is what's wrong with the West. Because when something becomes expected, people go, you must do that, which is where things are going wrong. When you do it, and it all clicks, it's like, I appreciate that we have a good lifestyle. I appreciate everything you do for us. That is a relationship with a Philippine woman. You'll also find that there is like a curiosity, uh, almost, um, it's, an, it's hard to explain. The, the, there's like a childlike thought sometimes of just the way people are. It's not that they're stupid or something. They maintain a outward appeal, which is why they do so well in the... Um, tourism industry for example because they make great workers because they have that upbeat thing that kids have you know even like when they're having a crap day they're still upbeat you know I've run fast food restaurants before and you get the, the even in the UK the kids are like I don't know 16 16 to 24 maybe they're upbeat because they still haven't had the mortgage and everything else that's slowly pushing their life down. They're upbeat and they're happy and it doesn't matter. They've just done a 12-hour shift and been told, well, you still haven't done it properly. You have to stay behind and do it do it right. They will get on with it. They may give it the, uh, but they'll still do it. And within five minutes, they've got the music on and I'll be getting it done. That is something that... I find Filipino, Filipino women have, doesn't matter how bad things are, they can find within themselves to build themselves up and be happy. But then you have the natural smile. You have the, there's like a natural glow of happiness that comes off Philippine women. And that's before you even discuss the natural beauty that most Philippine ha women have. They're beautiful women. Um, combine that with um, less weight issues up to a certain age because <laughs> you find a lot of women once they hit like I don't know 45 they suddenly bloom out a bit um, probably mainly because of the pork and the dried fish and what have you but their appearance is very fit you know I wouldn't say physically fit because most women I know will get a tricycle from the street to the main road so so I wouldn't say they go running every day or something, um, unless they actually choose to do that. But all these things make them fantastic partners because they're interesting, they're unique, they're um, something that makes life interesting. Because in the West, everything's so same, same every day. There's nothing that makes life interesting. What I mean is in a relationship, everything seems to be so structured. We're finding in the West that people are geared towards television. Television structures things to suit itself. Look at music, how Sony and EMI and those guys, along with many others, have decided to 
destroy music, shall we say. You got all your Justin Bieber's and the same, same music. It's rubbish. You know, it's, it's not your Nirvana's. It's not your um, mix and blend of interesting sounds where you make your own decision whether you like it or not. It is mechanical. It is selling to teenagers the same regurgitated rubbish based on five girls, five boys, whatever. It's processed. It's, it's as healthy as chappy dog food. <laughs> if you don't know what chappy dog food is, have a look for it. Um, but it, it's not, it doesn't encourage anything of interest. It's just bland. People go for mortgage, house, uh, sorry, house, car, same lifestyles. It becomes just a process of life, but it's not life. It's not living. It's, it's just life. I'm alive. That's about it. But I find the Filipinas have an interest, a desire to do things, um, but also because they haven't seen outside the Philippines, in many cases, anything is new. So it also brings this out of you as well. The fact is that, oh, look, look at this, look at this. You know, there's a unique experience there. I know when I've been traveling work-wise, the way I look at things is I think... April would love to see this. It's not, oh, I love this view or whatever. It's more a case of, I would love to be here with April. She would love this. It's, you know, it's, it brings out fascinations. It brings out interest. It brings out the best in you as well as them. That is what makes Filipino women so desirable. Thanks for listening. <laughs>